All right, here's my outdoor unit, guys. We'll pull this thing up. We'll set our new unit down on top of, right now it's on a, on a wall rack. We can cut that iron off the wall and set our new unit down on top of a pad on the ground. New disconnect box and electrical whip. Line sets will get replaced and we'll flush and pressure test everything. Flue pipe is gonna have to, we run it out on this side, we're gonna have to extend it. Let's see if there's a way we can bring it out on this side of the house um, here in the corner and uh, we can do a flush mount kit right there. Hey guys, I'm out at Mike's house. We are in St. Peter's. We're gonna do a system replacement here. Let's pull this return drop out and put a new return drop in with a little transition down into the furnace. Furnace is gonna go on top of a six inch furnace base. Um, we'll set our coil on top of that. Let's rerun the refrigerant lines. They run from the coil here to up to the ceiling. And then you can see them wrap around back and down to the outdoor. It's a split level house, so everything's coming out right here. Flue pipe, if we go with a high efficiency furnace, we're going to have to bring our flue pipe up to the ceiling and then probably run it down that direction a little bit so we can dump it out um, to where we're not impeding on this window. If we do a 80% furnace, we're going to replace the swivel tee here and we'll put a new 5x4x3 swivel tee in and rebuild back down into the system. Um, let's replace all of the water heater flue pipe too because it's aluminum instead of galvanized. Coil will go up on top of the furnace and then we'll rebuild the supply air plenum into the ductwork. There's enough room here to add a humidifier if that's something that they're interested in. Um, and we're gonna do the five inch media cabinet down there. That's everything on the inside.